Hey guys, it's Ben, Acme Mowen, Acme Mowen and Lawn Care, acmemowen.com. Happy Monday to you. How the hell are you? Hope you had a great weekend. We know that we had a great weekend. JT got the rest of the machines all tuned up and oil changed deed, and cleaned and ready to go this week because this week is launch week. This is early morning. This is 6, 6 a.m. and you can see that the machines are gone. Both sprayers are gone. All the mowers, except for the Hustler Fast Track, uh, is gone. And the only reason the Hustler Fast Track is here is because we're having a deck level issue with the Hustler Fast Track that we haven't been able to figure out quite yet. Uh, it digs in, scalps on one side, uh, and it's definitely a deck level issue. But it, when we put it on the pavement and we, and we look at the level and we measure it all, it's showing okay. So there's got to be something else going on with that. I'm going to figure it out later. I just haven't had a chance. Because, like I said, this last weekend, we were busier than hell. We were busier than a one-legged man in an ass-kicking contest. And that's pretty damn busy. Uh, and what can be busy, right? Depending on how much the guy wants to win. Uh, but anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, okay, yeah, the weekend. So, so look... We're starting full-time this week. They're already out, and we're down a man. We're not down a man. We're short a man. All right. We call it a draw. Come, Patsy. Oh, oh, I see. Running away, eh? You yellow bastard. Come back here and take what's coming to you. So what I did is I got on ZipRecruiter.com, and I signed up for an account, and I placed an ad. I know. You guys that are in the know with ZipRecruiter are saying, Ben, you're effing crazy man $24 a day for an ad that's stupid that's just dumb and I agree it is dumb uh, that's why I'm not paying it I signed up on ZipRecruiter and I got the free trial for five days right you have five days to use the ZipRecruiter thing and uh, I have my alarm set for Wednesday and everything it'll go off and it'll tell me go cancel your free subscription to ZipRecruiter your free trial you got to cancel it Otherwise, they're going to charge you. Thursday, I'll wake up, and I'll have a $24 bill on my card. And then Friday, I'll wake up, and there's another $2,400. That ain't going to happen. I ain't going to put out that money because I'm pretty confident that we can find our guy uh, without having to pay for it. So, so we put an ad out on a free trial, and we already that was last night, Sunday night. And this morning, when I woke up, I had two applications already. One guy's a truck driver just north of here, no experience. And that's fine because we put in the ad, no experience required. We're going to start you off at 16. Everybody's starting at 16. If you don't have experience, we're going to teach you. We're going to give you the experience. And then after you have the experience, after we're done giving you that, we're going to give you a raise too. We're going to give you all kinds of stuff. We're going to give you training, experience, and a raise. So truck, truck driver guy, he may work out. Uh, and then we got a second applicant, uh, another applicant from a tree service from across town. I couldn't believe this one. The guy's been working for an arbor service for years, and he applies to us to become a helper, a mower, a landscape mulch guy from a tree arborist. Now, I don't know why. Uh, there, there might be reasons, right? Uh, so, but it, he's definitely under consideration because the guy is so qualified. And, and, and the thing is, is, you got to be careful when you hire these guys, right? You don't want to hire the, the most qualified guy in the state. He's going to get bored with your little operation. That guy's going to be wanting more and more than we, than we could provide him. We want to hire somebody that's at our level or lower so that they can grow with us, right? So that we can grow together and, and, and make money together, learn to make money together, right? And, and improve our processes together. That's the kind of guy that we want. So... Got on ZipRecruiter, going to cancel it Wednesday so I don't have to pay for it, right? This morning, I also woke up to an email from a company called barefoot.net or barefoot something or other. What they do is they try to link up college kids, kids that are going through college, to jobs, right? Uh, it's a great idea and, and more power to them, but I want, I'm not going to be hiring any college kids that are looking for a part-time job or just looking to make a little bit of money this summer. Like I keep saying, I'm looking for somebody that wants to, right, uh, grow with us. Uh, I'm looking for somebody who wants to join this to make this their profession and maybe, you know, at some point maybe even grow their own lawn care company because let's be realistic, guys. 
this is what you should be doing. You shouldn't be working for people uh, if you can avoid it. Uh, now, I understand that you might have to in order to generate the funds necessary to get your own thing going, right? Or your own side gig thing going. Totally encourage that. And that's why we don't have our guys working on the weekends, so they can be working side gigs and developing their own businesses on the, on the weekends. But we really would like to get somebody that's going to be at least a year or two long with us, uh, maybe longer. Uh, and we're willing to pay for that. Now, $16 an hour doesn't sound like much, uh, but we're paying that to anybody that starts out with us, right? That wage will go up based on experience and work, uh, productivity and ethic, right? Work ethics. So it's easy to make money with Acme. And it's easy to get raises as long as you're doing what's right. What's up, guys? It's a clean up the shop day. Hey, Mr. Wood. How's it going? This is John with Acme Mellon. This it's as easy as that. <clears throat> this is the, the, the midi vac. I'm just kidding. It's called the mighty vac. Uh, oh. I got I got a new hat. Working with Larson. I'm just kidding. Work my ass off for this hat, man. This hat wasn't free. I put in so much work for this hat, dude. Dude. Dang, dude. I'm just kidding, dude. You're weirdo. Just kidding, dude. A lot of people put the old oil on the new oil filter. I I put new oil on it, so. Why would you want the old shit on there? I'm just wondering if you're draining it out, you know? Why, why would you want to put that on there? Instead of just taking two seconds to put the new stuff on there. Bang. Change the oil. Now we can grab our mighty vac or whatever you guys are using to suck it out. Make sure it's nice and in there. And pump. Pump. Pump it up. Pump. Pump. Pump it up. Yeah. Oh yeah.
We're gonna need some bigger mowers this year, guys. We've got a lot of accounts to do, lots of spraying to do. Um, it's already seeming like we should have bought a bigger Z spray or uh, even, uh, it didn't have to necessarily be a Z spray. Could have just been a bigger sprayer. But I think um, if we continue to pick up these big properties, I think I'm gonna get a UTV and put a sprayer in the bed of it because I've seen a lot of um, pest control companies around here doing that, especially on big acreages. And, you know, it'd be a, a business write-off and we'd have a UTV to ride around. Hey, can't beat that, right? A work UTV. Because we've been getting calls about five, six acre properties a lot here lately. And you know, you just gotta do what, what makes sense. If a if a Z spray costs twenty Z spray max costs twenty four thousand dollars. Um well, you know, I, I look at it as so does a UTV. A UTV with a sprayer costs the same amount and we'd be getting shit done a lot quicker on a UTV. Not only that, but it can hold a lot more than 50, 60 gallons. So, just something to think about. And she's dry. Shop's all clean.
does it look? No, no machine's gonna be sitting at all this year.